everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the last ever intro that I'm filming here. So welcome to my last ever week in the life vlog of study abroad. I cannot believe this. If you've never been here on my channel before then hi my name is Laura. I'm a 22 year old German small town girl studying abroad in Scotland. Well I actually just graduated uh, from my four year um, PR bachelor honors degree at the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen. So my channel is all about my life abroad as a small town girl, traveling, studying abroad, building my own online business, all of those things. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then make sure you subscribe. This vlog is honestly just going to be me getting my life organized, getting my shit together to go back to Germany. Um, it's actually going to be quite fun because I'm going to go back to Germany and then straight on a road trip with my parents because our original plans were that my parents would come up here because originally I had my graduation on the 15th of July so my parents had a ferry booked and they would come up with a caravan and we would go on this epic like Scotland road trip and celebrate my graduation and then everyone goes back together uh, back to Germany um, however because of corona this is obviously not happening um, but luckily we're allowed to travel around a little bit in Germany so that's what we're gonna do uh, but today anyway it is Saturday the 4th of July oh today's the 4th of July 9 26 and we're about to head to my partner Ross's flat to tidy that up and to pack it up um, so that's gonna be probably most of our day then around lunchtime I'm meeting or we are meeting one of my work colleagues and we're gonna meet him at the beach and have some lunch together and catch up <laughs> start and we weren't really feeling great so like I had my alarm set for 8 a.m. we woke up at 8 a.m. we were like planning to go to Ross's flat again to pack up his things but you know sometimes life happens and it's really hard for me to like let go sometimes of like my plans and I feel like I'm wasting my time um, but I guess you just have to like learn to be a bit more spontaneous especially you know when it comes to big life changes like moving to another country and you know leaving leaving things behind having to pack up your entire life and organizing and travel planning whilst running a business having a relationship doing all of those things it's so normal that you know things aren't always gonna go um, as planned and I'm just really learning to trust the process and to know that everything is gonna be done in time even if I don't micromanage everything. I don't know if I've even said this in this vlog. I don't know but if you've watched recent videos of mine um, then you might know this that my partner Ross is gonna come to Germany with me so he is putting all of his things here into storage and coming to Germany with me and then from Germany we are gonna be digital nomads because luckily Ross also works remotely so that's really really cool so we're gonna be digital nomads which is kind of crazy because that's like has been my dream for so many years now that's one of the reasons why I started like my own online business because I really wanted that freedom to travel and to work from my laptop and I can't really believe that this is like actually happening now. Also because I never expected to meet someone that would do that with me. And it's still sometimes too good to be true. And I think like, oh my god, like 
something's gonna go wrong and this is not gonna work because it's like my my dream you know i just have like so many to do's but it's all gonna be okay and yeah i i'm really excited i'm just really excited do you want to guess how it's spelled how it's pronounced ski and dub you're close ski and do you would wear it when you're wearing a kilt um, your socks come up to about here um, and this slips inside your sock. Mm. I can't remember which side it is. I think it's your right outer. Um, and it slips inside your sock. Um, it's completely, it's not real. Um, it's made of metal. It kind of hurt if you poked somebody with it, but mm -hmm. it's uh, very much not real. It's just decorative. You just rent kilts. You don't buy them because they're super expensive to buy. And then if you get fat, you're sad. <laughs> you're gonna go buy another one. <laughs> So you rent them. It's way easier. Yeah. The more you know. I zoomed in on your face. It wasn't so hard. But maybe one day we can break the distance. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday at 8.03. Um, so it's just 8 a.m. I got ready. Had, well, no. That's the wrong way around. I got up at 6.45, I had breakfast, I watched a little module of a course I'm currently taking all around balance and boundaries as an entrepreneur, which is very, very, <laughs> very needed. Um, put in a load of laundry, I got ready and I watched a YouTube video all about how to still live your best life in 2020, which was very good. Um, but anyway, now I am sitting at my workspace, which is always here in the living room, at this beautiful big window with my flowers that Ross gave me for my birthday and my graduation. They're already a bit minimized, but they're still so pretty and they make me happy every time I look at them. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow. I don't know if you can see the rainbow. Yes, you can! There's a rainbow! Yay! Yeah, obviously because this week is, you know, a little bit more than usual. Not only I have to, you know, prepare um, my business for me being away, I am planning on working like one or two hours every day throughout the road trip, um, which is no problem at all. Um, but I still have to, you know, write down everything that needs to be done in terms of pre-creating some content for YouTube or wrapping things up with my clients or just, you know, anything like that. So I have to get an overview over that. Then obviously see everything that I still have to pack and do here in Everdeen. Just, you know, I'm just gonna take some time to plan this week a, bit, a little bit more thoroughly. That's what I'm gonna do now. At nine, I have a call with my um, client for um, her content and launch manager. So every morning at, uh, every Monday at 9 a.m. we have a Zoom call and I'm also gonna post in my membership because today we actually have our group coaching call, our first group coaching call, which is so exciting. If you've never heard of my membership, I just recently launched my membership Girls Abroad, which is an online membership platform for women who want to go abroad. So in there we have monthly group coaching calls, journaling prompts, master classes, giving you all the tools and community to really, you know, go abroad, no matter if that is study abroad, work abroad, do an internship abroad. So um, right now doors are closed. However, they are gonna open very, very, very soon. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sign up down below for the waitlist. It's completely free. All that happens when you sign up for the waitlist is you get added to an email list and I will notify you as soon as the doors are open to the membership with a little special bonus. Um, but anyway, we have our first group coaching call today and I'm so excited. So I have to post in the membership now to remind everyone and collect questions if people can't come because we have members from all around the world, Philippines, India, US, everywhere. So I know that's quite tricky with time zones. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do then. But first I'm gonna do some planning and some mindset stuff, which I'm so, so excited about because I love planning, I love mindset stuff. I could do that all day, so I really always have to hold myself back from not doing that all day because that's not really productive. But anyway, let's get started with our Monday. 
Okay, so that is everything that I have so far on my weekly plan. So what I basically did is I went through my Things app, which is like my to-do list organization tool. And um, I went through like my daily to-dos, my next action to-dos, all of the things that I just brain dumped in here over the past few days. And what I did is the most important tasks that are like non-negotiable that need to be done this week. Those are all the tasks I'm focusing on this week, like nothing unnecessary basically. I wrote them all in categories underneath here so all my business to do's, my moving to do's and my fun to do's and then I also put in here anything that I already know what I will do on each day. I didn't really plan in all of those things specifically into each day because I just want to be flexible and kind of do what I feel inspired to do but just you know also writing them down so I make sure that everything gets done and yeah that's my weekly plan. I do feel a lot better. I'm also always organizing like in my digital calendar so that's kind of just like an addition to just brain dump and to just get everything together. You know I think this is really important like when you go through big life change transitional periods like listen to yourself and what you want to do i think now it's more important than ever to be in tune with what you need with what you feel like doing and to also you know keep some routine and not necessarily distraction but don't make your whole life around your big move or your big whatever still you know keep your routine learn new things and kind of keep keep it normal, keep it simple. My motto now is to do everything step by step, day by day. Yes, be organized, that's why we planned this morning, but still not like over complicate everything, not overthink everything. Just, you know, taking it easy and enjoying the process. Without a screen cutting through buckets of water, millions of clouds. Mine. Currently 8 p.m. I finished my group coaching call a little while ago. All things um figuring out your path, what to do if you're uncertain about what to do, what's the right thing, dream life, dream career. Um, a limiting belief, just so many amazing things. It was so great to connect with them. I had so much fun and I'm already excited for the next one. Um, maybe one of you will also then be part of it. I hope a lot of you girls will be part of my membership. Um, but yeah, anyway, I had kind of a low in the afternoon. I just didn't take enough breaks um, throughout the day. And I don't know, I just sometimes just push myself too much and then I realize it once it's too late. And then I am sad, I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm tired, I'm exhausted and I just get just not, not a pleasant human to be around. But yeah, I guess, you know, you also have to be a bit gentle with yourself when you're going through big life change. And try not to let yourself get to that, take regular breaks. Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday, it is 10 a.m. I just finished scripting the masterclass for my next month's bundle in my membership and I'm so 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 excited for that month and um, because it's all about finding your tribe, finding your soul people, letting go of toxic people in your life and just having awesome people um like being surrounded by awesome people which is like a topic I'm so 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 passionate about so I just scripted that out and I'm gonna record it now I also uploaded the group coaching call from yesterday which was so 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 awesome I love chatting with all the girls live it was really cool to see like their faces and yeah it was really awesome so yeah, this morning I've just been working on my membership, I uploaded the group coaching call, I started the new bundle 
and yeah i do have a few work things on my to-do list for today as well maybe i'm also gonna start with decluttering today finally which was on my list for yesterday from yesterday but um I didn't do that so yeah I will keep you updated oh also something I forgot to mention yesterday I actually <laughs> rebooked my flights um, back to Germany because my parents um, like there was like a mismatch in timings between when they could get the caravan and when my flight would have landed in Berlin so I now rebooked uh, my flight luckily KLM right now doesn't have any charges to rebook so you can rebook for free so I just rebooked my flight to Monday so you know those are the things that can happen in times like now or just with traveling you know you have to be a bit flexible and I was very like that whole thing yesterday stressed me out a lot like I was just like not not in good mindset um but yeah those are just things you have to kind of deal with sometimes um but yeah I just made some stir fry for lunch I spent a whole morning doing membership stuff so I recorded the master class I created the journaling prompts for next month and just all the descriptions as well because obviously next next week I'm already gonna be on the road trip um, so I wanted to make sure that I have everything prepared for the membership so I did that and I'm really really glad I did it and it was so much fun I could honestly do that like all day every day so I'm gonna eat now and then after lunch I'm gonna do some work for my social media jobs um, and yeah then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do after that start. This milk looks sh**. It's all sh**. <laughs> it's Because I was, I couldn't be in my normal position. <sighs> Good morning everybody. It is 9.14. I just recorded a visualization for my membership and ah, I'm just so excited. I love recording visualizations and my members loved this month's visualization so I'm super excited to share this one with them and um, but anyway I got up this morning as per usual at 6 45 I had breakfast I did some mindset journaling showered I pulled an oracle card and then I'm gonna start working for um, one of my social media jobs and yeah then in the afternoon so today I'm only working until lunch because after lunch I am meeting with a friend and we are gonna go to old Aberdeen and like that area of Aberdeen which I haven't been to in like so long and we're just gonna walk around and take some nice images so I'm also gonna vlog that and you're gonna see a bit more of Aberdeen again and not just my three rooms in my flat so I'm really excited to take you guys along today. It is currently 1.45. I got ready, curled my hair because Marissa and I want to take some nice photos. I have not been having the most productive day today I gotta say. I did work for one of my social media jobs but I also wanted to work for my other social media job but I really don't have like the energy right now and I just don't feel like it. So I started downloading some video files for one of my new editing clients. There are so many files and I have to download them in like little sections because it's too big to download at once. So that's been taking up uh, some time. It's kind of hard when you work for yourself and like setting boundaries with yourself. I'm definitely on the spectrum where I tend to work too much. I tend to like not be able to rest. Like I'm not a person where like I have such a hard time to like sit down and like watch Netflix. Like I never do that because I feel like it doesn't like create any value in my life. It's like useless. I should be working. I should be doing this and this and this. And yeah, I do have to like kind of figure out a way where I can like like rest without feeling guilty for it or just chill when I'm not in alignment. So yeah, because I also learned that, you know, eventually everything gets done and I just always think I have to like over deliver and be like super on time and yeah, but you know, mostly people don't even expect that. I just like expect that for myself, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just gonna like stop rambling now. I don't know if that's just like a German thing, but does anyone else put butter and sugar on their bread? 
I mean, this is toast, there's no bread, but anyone else? Is that like a German thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's really good though. So, we are currently at Aberdeen Uni, and that's one of the really, really pretty, well, I just walked like past it. That's one of the really pretty buildings. King's College, right? Yeah, it's King's College. Aberdeen Uni. And um, it's really, really pretty. It's definitely like the prettiest part of the uni. So we are just walking through Old Aberdeen. I'm with my friend Marissa. You have to follow her on Instagram. She has an amazing Instagram and YouTube. Um, but yeah, we're just walking around, taking some photos. It's really nice because Marissa loves taking photos too. She's also a content creator. So that's always really nice. So yeah, we're just walking around Old Aberdeen. I haven't been here in so long. We are also going to Seaton Park and maybe to the beach and Seas just... Seals. Yes, to see seals. But yeah, oh, it's just so beautiful. I love Old Aberdeen, but because I don't really live, I mean, I do live near it, but it's not really like a place kind of to go other than to take photos and stuff. Not really any coffee shops, right? No, um, no shops. Okay. Yeah, but it's really, really nice. Um, also really pretty buildings. So yeah, you should definitely check out Old Aberdeen if you're in Aberdeen or if you study at Aberdeen Uni, then you know, this is gonna be your daily, daily view. It is really pretty. This is dinner. I wished for the little letters. Um, I think I vlogged this when I first had the potato letters. I think they're so cute, so I wanted them one more time before I leave. And then some Yorkshire pudding and haggis, and this is just such a Scottish meal. You also have gravy, and I'm very excited. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is 9.42. Also, I don't know what my camera is doing. It's like doing weird things. Um, it's 9.42 a.m. I am starting work a little bit later today because I slept in a little bit while well, I slept in for like an hour and then I did a 45 minute mindset journaling session and now I'm gonna get started with work. I have a lot to do and my intention is to be super efficient, super productive and get it all done with ease and fun and you know just taking it all off but not getting stressed or anything so let's see if that intention actually works <laughs> yeah because yesterday I really didn't get that much done which is fine though because I had such a nice walk with Marissa in the afternoon like I was dead afterwards we did like 18,000 steps or something in like two hours and I was just dead like <laughs> You have no idea, like everything hurt. Like I'm just not used to like walking around that much anymore, but it was really, really nice. So I have my coffee here and I am gonna jump into work now. I have not checked in with you the whole day. It is now 6.40 and we are on our way to Stonehaven to get fish and chips one last time. I am quite sad. I love the Stonehaven. Can I put this here? I can put this here. I love the Stonehaven fish and chips so much. If you ever get to go to Stonehaven, go to the bay and there's like a person. He's probably gonna see me like talking to my camera. No? Okay. And um, go to the bay because they have the best fish and chips. Before I tried their fish and chips, I did not like fish and chips at all, but their fish and chips is amazing. Anyway, so we're gonna go there. Um, there's like someone walking past. Um. So we got ice cream from Aunt Betty's, which is like very, very popular ice cream shop here in Stonehaven. And I'm so happy because they had um, a dairy free. Um, flavor and it looks really nice and they also have dairy free like chocolate buttons like dark chocolate buttons so very excited because my skin reacts really badly to dairy especially ice cream all the coffee right <laughs> <laughs> blackberry ripple ripple riffle with a chocolate chip and ross what do you have explain oh you have I mine's, yeah i've mine's all chocolate because 
Hashtag chocoholic. So like I've got chocoholic toppings! <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Saturday. I totally did not vlog yesterday. I didn't really have such a great day to be honest. I felt like really tired and unmotivated. I did get like my priorities done in the day but I also watched like two hours of TikTok and I was just also driving around with Ross getting some stuff for his business and yeah just um, uh, I wasn't really feeling in the vlog mood yesterday but that's totally okay today is saturday it is currently 12 30. i got up um, when did we get up today got up at 7 30 had breakfast we love making or i love making baked oats for us on the weekend oh it's so good and then i started working at nine um and until now until lunch i worked for my client just uh, preparing some content which I didn't get done yesterday and yeah now I just had my lunch and now I'm actually gonna start packing because I cannot procrastinate it any longer for some reason I always procrastinate packing now I never used to but I think because I mean it's not not there that there is any pressure but because it's like not just for a vacation it's like my entire life basically it's always a bit uh i don't know it's it's easy to like procrastinate but i really just want to get started with it kind of get an overview of how many things i have and yeah so that i don't really have to stress about it tomorrow later uh we are gonna get coffee uh at one of our favorite coffee shops and then in the evening i'm super excited because um, first we're gonna go to my uni to take some graduation <laughs> pictures and then we're gonna go to a castle nearby and uh, with my friend Marissa and she's gonna take photos of Ross and I because Ross and I have never had like someone take photos of us and um, so we thought before I leave we should you know take some photos in front of a Scottish castle so I'm really excited for that. I think I'm just gonna throw in <laughs> a few packing tips. So this is my suitcase and first thing I will do is actually pick out the outfits that I'm gonna wear tomorrow and also on Monday so I don't pack them. And then I'm just gonna start throwing things into my suitcase. I usually just start with clothing and then I go through everything else. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So this is almost everything that I have been living with over the past six months. Um, it might look like a mess now, but it's definitely not as much as I thought, which is awesome. You know, studying abroad and constantly moving back and forth countries has made me so conscious of like what I buy and whether I really, really need it because like I know that I'm gonna move away so I will have to like either pay to send it or I will have to like make room for it in my suitcase and honestly that has shifted my mindset so much to where I now don't buy anything I don't like really 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 need which is obviously great for your budget um but also it creates so much freedom right because Yes, I do still have like my childhood things and all of those things like at home, but like the things that I truly need on a daily basis, like they fit into a suitcase and I know what I have and literally everything here serves a purpose and there's nothing like where I look at this and think, oh, I forgot I had this. Like I know what I have. Those are all my documents. By the way, if you're studying abroad, a document folder is a must have. It's gonna save your life, trust me. And I have some certificates of some programs. And those are, that's like part of my outfit for Monday. That's part of my outfit for today. So I just have everything that I need here. 
that's the bag of stuff I'm gonna throw away because it's just like I've you know I've used it like so many times because I haven't bought any new clothes over the past eight months so some of that is just so worn out and yeah that's kind of how it looks so far I also put on a load of laundry so yeah she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her Quick story time! We just came back to the parking lot where we parked the car when we went into a park to drink our coffee and it's like an hour later now, like at least and we noticed at home that we lost the keys and they were literally still here on the parking lot in the grass very visible from the street and they're still here so what a day what a what a i just told ross like he's just so lucky because the, the keys were in his his trousers like he's just so lucky like if i lost the keys like they would have been just gone but ross is just a lucky human but Oh well, the, your, the things that happened. With your reaction not being, oh good, we found the keys. It being, F you, why are you so lucky? <laughs> yeah. Downsides of an electric car. I yeah. probably can't hear anyway. In, in no rush. It's obvious. <laughs> I feel like if I hon honk, I will probably be the responsible for the deaths of <laughs> two women. <laughs> Oh, that's not the funeral march either, that's the Star Wars theme tune. Oh, oh, moment of truth. I am literally like five feet from them now. Okay, maybe like ten. Oh, they're gonna go. She's got a hearing aid in! so cute. Thank you. I'm gonna do a talking sequence. I want to film you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a walking talking sequence. Yes. Okay. My bad. So we are currently walking to Craigie Bar Castle where we're gonna take photos with Marissa. Um, <laughs> because Ross and I have never had any couple photos taken so we should take advantage of um yeah of the castle so it's like a 45 minute drive and i'm really excited yay on wednesdays we go to pink castles such an instagrammer to me <laughs> it's pink hi guys welcome back to my vlog so what time <laughs> And Russ is currently making coffee because we got some yummy cake from one of the local coffee shops here. It's called Bio Cafe and it's like all organic and really nice. So we have a chocolate grenache and um, banana split cheesecake, I think. And yeah, we're gonna have that now. <clears throat> and yeah, I've also just been packing and um, but also relaxing because like I tend to kind of brush it off like the whole like moving and packing and all of those things because I've done it so often um but I still can tell how I'm like I don't have as much patience I get like easily stressed because like our flat is such a mess and that really really triggers me because I love having things clean and organized 
and it just has not been in the best state. But yeah, we're just having coffee now and then I don't actually know what I'm gonna do because I'm kind of done with packing. We're definitely later gonna go to my university because I still haven't taken the graduation elegant photos. And um, so we're gonna do that. We're also gonna have haggis, neeps and tatties today for, uh, for dinner, which is like typical Scottish dish, so I'm super excited for that. But yeah, probably just chilling. There are the coffees. Coffees being Whoa. delivered. <laughs> Last time at uni! Woo! Oh, so oh, so Obviously I don't get a proper certificate. Well, I will, but in the post and it's gonna take a long time. Um, we have it on the iPad, which is great, so... Yay. All the good grades. I'm worried that they never gonna love me I'm worried that I'll be a fucking joke I'm worried that I don't have control Don't worry Welcome to the RGU campus Very pretty you Totally should have been a student ambassador Welcome to RGU, it's pretty <laughs> Choose us Choose us, nowhere else You can answer me this question first Before we do more photos uh, Four years ago today, what did you think you'd be doing? I think four years today I already had my offer But I'm not sure I thought I would be going into like a big international marketing agency or like maybe go to New York for a while mm -hmm. and be like be like this dressed up basically all the time and live uh, or like work in like an agency be like all super like devil wears Prada mm -hmm. sass the yeah. whole thing yeah. and now I'm like wearing leggings every day and where's my local artisan coffee place? <laughs> give me the coffee shop <laughs> Freaking right, girl, the camera loves you. Good old fan. Everybody screamed and I kissed the teacher. <laughs> Explain what we're eating. Haggis, neeps, and ties. You have to talk louder. <clears throat> Haggis, neeps, and ties! <laughs> what is what? That's haggis. That's the wee animal. <laughs> um, it was well prepared by the specialist butcher. That's my neeps, which is turnips. And that is ties. It looks amazing. With Oops, mashed potato. And what is this? With oh, that's, that's gravy. We finished the gravy. <gasps> no way. Which is kind of like a, it's like a sign. We eat so much gravy. Oh. We're not gonna eat gravy again okay. sometime. I think. Oh. Well, Germany has gravy, more or less. I don't know. I love you. I'm worried about being by myself. By myself. I'm worried I ain't doing too well. I'm worried, but I did it to myself. Yeah. I'm worried that you don't. Thank you so 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 much for watching this vlog if you've watched until here then well done for watching 40 minutes of my vlog i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it then i'm sure you're gonna love this video right here which is all the things i'll miss about scotland so i will see you in that video